a little bit ago and I promised I'd come out here. It did take me a little while to set up, but I have to show you something really special that happened. We got some new little baby goats. How you doing? You look like your daddy, but you're definitely a lot friendlier than your daddy. <laughs> look at this cutie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How you doing, little baby? So, yeah. Uh, she doesn't have a name yet. Well, I think it's a she. Uh, there's the other one over there, and that's the mama, Louise. They need some names. Brooke and Peyton, One Tree Hill. Good Brooke one. and Peyton from <laughs> One Tree Hill, okay. Uh, let me clean the lens here. But anyways, um, if you read the title of this video, you're uh, not seeing stars, it is true. I am saying goodbye, but I'm not saying goodbye to you. I'm saying goodbye to one of my puppies that somebody's gonna come pick up here in a second. In case you missed that video, I have to find homes for my puppies because it's not safe for them or my other livestock guardian dogs or any animal here on the farm to keep them because they're, I, I guess it's just dangerous for their development. Our livestock guardian dogs will eventually turn on the other animals and it can be bad if people come and visit. A local farmer actually had, had to put his dog down because it attacked a little boy because it, they had a puppy and they didn't listen to the warnings also. But look how freaking, freaking cute you are. And you're so sweet. You come over here and hang out with your, with your grandpa? Yes? Yes, you are so adorable. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? So Brooke and Peyton, wait, I mean, I think that's a girl, right? It's a, that's a girl. We don't need no more billy goats because uh, yeah, they, uh, they're kind of mean to their ladies. We had to separate our billy goat. He was being kind of mean. Hi, Louise. Now, my other goat, Thelma, she's really sweet. Where's Thelma at? She's eating grass on the okay, hi, Thelma. Thelma is very pregnant. Oh, I didn't mean to scare you. Thelma. She's really sweet. Look at this. Look at her hopping around. Hi. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> she's jumping around. Hi. You look like your daddy, too. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> What you doing? That one's a boy. Is that a boy? Oh, I think it is a boy. Okay. Wait, they all have that. They both have that. No. That one doesn't have. The other one has a vagina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and this is Thelma. She's about ready to pop. Is that your? Is that your little nephew? You'd be nice to your nephew. But you can see how big she is. I think she's only gonna have one though. Yeah, she was. Um, she's kind of like. Look, well, she thinks. She thinks Thelma's her mom. That one's definitely <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, hey, welcome to the live stream. I'm going to be going here in the back soon. We'll come back here in a second. Hi, Louise. So we have this little this little house here for the goats. Uh, one for also for Thelma. You know, Thelma's going to be giving birth here any day now. So we wanted her to have like her own little space. Dak wasn't very good recently with the with the goats he heard the little baby goats being born he started attacking the mom the mama goat so yeah we can't have that so we put them away but yeah i do have somebody coming here to visit i don't know in about 20 minutes or so so we'll probably get to see them get to judge i mean i'm, I'm pretty good sorry about the wind noise i'm a pretty good judge of character when it comes to feeling people out and using my intuition for that I've talked to this person already and they seem they seem pretty awesome. They have kids, they're a mom, believe they work in healthcare. So I mean, I already like them. Teachers, nurses, like just people that work in, even hairdressers. I mean, I don't know, there's a lot of great industries out there, service industries, but I don't know, teachers, nurses happen to be some of my favorites. And I believe the person that's coming is in the healthcare industry. I think she's a, she might be a nurse, not 100%. But yeah, it has been a while since I brought y'all out here to the farm. Been traveling a lot. I was in South Carolina recently with James, helping him move and stuff. Also, I was in Key West filming. I was in Miami filming some more. So I haven't been really home a lot. Big shout out to Tiffany for kind of holding down the fort and making sure the animals are all cared for. But this is new. We just added this whole section right here because I kind of got tired of letting the animals loose like throughout the, the whole safe haven ranch and I would do that occasionally. So 
I have this whole fenced off area pretty much. I mean, it's like double the size of what they have now. And occasionally I will let them loose in here. And it's just like an extra paddock for them to graze. And we did add also some more little sections just to kind of keep them separated. But, oh my gosh, gonna be saying goodbye right now to my boy, Patrick. This uh, kind of a bittersweet moment. It's bitter because, you know, we don't want to give away our puppies. We don't want to, we wanted to keep them, we wanted to keep them forever. And it's sweet because we know that they're going to be happy and they're going to be spoiled. Be gonna, they're going to go to a good home. So I'm going to show you the the puppies here it goes gracie look how she jumps over the fence look at this oh uh, look at that yeah you make sure you have like an eight foot fence for a great pair of knees because they could just jump hi baby is that travis no, that's Taylor. this is travis right here right here yeah yeah, yeah. That's travis. That's Patrick and okay Taylor. patrick's the one that's going to be going he's leaving today oh hi travis hi taylor taylor is going to be leaving on wednesday and she's going to be accompanying, like, I think eight French Bulldogs. So, and she's going to be protecting them. Hi, Patrick. Oh, my goodness. Is this goodbye? I mean, the good thing is, is, hey, don't get close to that wire. It's going to shock you. All right, this is the good news, is we are giving them to somebody local. So, we can still have visits and playtime, you know, some play dates. And maybe we'll even take Mama up there. So, look how big the puppies are. <laughs> so jealous he is they're legit only three months old and look how big they are they're like 35 pounds hi travis how you doing buddy hi taylor oops sorry hi guys hi see patrick looks just like dak like he literally like they look exactly alike i think that's why we just loved patrick so much I mean, we love them all but like look he looks just like a daddy and he's such a sweet boy Oh, I, I give you love, too. I give you love, too, Taylor. Wait, is this Taylor? I, this is Taylor, right? That here. is Taylor, okay. Taylor's got, like, a shorter snout. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat. Marita, sorry what you got to do, but better to be safe about being things. Hey, thank you so much. Ghostly Travels with Zach. What's up, bro? So, we added this, too. This is, like, a new fenced-off area. It looks kind of... Um, I mean, you know, that's that was what we did before just because we didn't have I mean, they kind of had puppies re like really quick So we we weren't really prepared. We had to make a little little partial fence for them But yeah, we got this now have my boy Matt come out and help us out And we put like an area there and I mean this is like a nice future spot for the goats too or for the pigs What is she doing? Is that Taylor? Yeah, she always does that. Yeah, she jumps right up in the bucket What a cutie patootie so Sandy's gonna come pick her up on Wednesday. Yeah. She's gonna, she's gonna spoil that out of her. Oh yeah. Yeah, she makes like food for her for her dogs. So yes. It is goodbye. Oh, let me see if I can stand this up here. Okay. Turn it around this way. Alright, bam. Alright, am I upside down? Yes, I'm upside down. Oops. Sorry about that. What's up, KK? What's up, Mary? What about Travis? Yes, Travis. I don't have a home yet for Travis yet. Somebody did message me earlier today and they were local. They told me that they were going to be possibly coming and then I never heard back from them. So it's not like I'm hoping to find them home soon because I, I just want them to I want them to be in the best possible forever home like right away. So they I mean, they're puppies, you know, they I want them to imprint on on their other animals that they're going to be with and so far they're going to be like the patrick i think is going to like he's going to be with kids and patrick's a great dog for kids i think he's going to be fantastic i think she did tell me she had another dog or two other dogs i, I can't remember we're gonna we're gonna hear from them here in a second so hey thank you guys for the super chat kathy appreciate that let me see uh debbie love 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 the names hey Who's going to be watching the Super Bowl, by the way? Yes, I'm going to be watching it. Going to be watching it. And hey, on my last video, um, I didn't I didn't get to like mention this uh, just because I've been so busy, but I was supposed to vlog. I, I had this psychic that just for fun, I asked her, I'm like, hey, 
uh, who do you think is going to be winning the Super Bowl? And she, you know, she brought out all her lucky cards and coins and her grandfather's ashes. And she called before it even happened. She called the 49ers to win the Super Bowl and she called the playoffs where the 49ers were going to go to the Super Bowl. And of course, the Chiefs going to the Super Bowl. Believe it or not, like I was, you know, I, even towards the end of the video, I'm like, hey, if I'm going to make a bet, I'm going to be betting for the underdogs, the Chiefs and the Lions. And I shouldn't have done that. Oh, my God, because guess who won? Exactly who she said was going to win. And she even said that in the third quarter, big shout out to my homie Tiffany. That's her name, too. Tiffany, not to be mixed up with, with my Tiffany here, but Tiffany, the psychic, she said that they were going to we were going to find out in the third quarter and that's exactly what happened lions were kicking ass in the beginning of the game and of course the 49ers came back in the third quarter when it happened james and i both looked at each other and we were like mother humper she was right why I, wow like why why like why did why didn't why, i should have just listened to her so check this out i made a video but i didn't ever post it she said that the 40 before that even happened before they even won the championship game she said that the 49ers were going to win everything so hey if you're going to place like a 50 dollar wager on the 49ers you know maybe you win 100 bucks or whatever i don't know what it is i'm not into betting a whole lot but do it on the 49ers and you know maybe set a bet with your friends or something you know what i mean like it, it, i'm telling you 49ers are going to win this game and she said that we're not going to know also until the third quarter so i'm calling it right now this is this is not me calling it. it's her calling it she said that the chiefs are going to be winning in the beginning and then exactly what happened against the lions 49ers are going to come back and it's not going to be by much i think she said something about 27 points she also said that she has a bad feeling that something bad is going to happen at the super bowl I, this is her words not mine I'm not a psychic, okay, but hey, be on the lookout. It could be an injury. It could be, who knows? Maybe it's just something, something crazy that happens at the Super Bowl. I, I'm, I'm not wishing anything evil or anything bad to happen, but damn, I just had to say this before it happened because Tiffany, I'll, if she's watching this video, she's, I can't believe like how dead on she is with things. It's actually scary. Exploring with Christy. Hi, Omar and Tiff. All vids of the farm. You guys are amazing. Awesome. Love you guys. Give me a kiss. Hey, give me a kiss right back at your fam. Let me see here. I had another one that I missed. Uh, Debbie, thank you so, so much. Uh, thank you for the hearts, too. Lazi loves con. Don't go. I'm not going. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, look, um, I was mentioning. Where's Primo at? Primo is, uh, he's working. That's what he's doing. But anyways, yeah, I'm not going. I'm not saying goodbye to anybody here. I'm sorry about the clickbait. Uh, but you guys wouldn't click on this video. I was saying, hey, I'm giving my puppy away. So, uh, hey, that's the goodbye. I'm going to be, oh, my God. I, mean, I am sad. This is a bad, like, really sad moment for me, okay? Like, I don't want to get rid of my puppies. But, I mean, I hate using that word, get rid, because I'm not getting rid. I'm finding them new homes. And, oh, my goodness, Travis. So, he's kind of the lone wolf we're gonna have travis uh i don't know I, at one point it's just gonna be one of them and that's sad <laughs> taylor's so cute so she leaves on wednesday and she's going she's gonna be an inside dog actually i think for the most part even patrick is gonna be an inside dog so yeah I mean, these dogs are great inside or out. Oh, look at Patrick. He's taking a little dirt nap right now. Gracie, I'm so sorry. Hey, you're going to still see your puppies, though, I promise. Yes, you are. Somebody said, dude, fix your damn stream. Get a stronger connection when you freaking stream. Dude. Oh, okay. Um, Is there anything wrong with my stream? I don't know. Like, I have, like, a super strong connection. There's, I don't see there anything. It's not like you're doing it on purpose. Oh yeah. I, shame on you, Internet Tower, for messing up my stream. You are a, I don't, I don't want to call them names because I kind of need them. All right, everybody says that the stream is fine. Maybe you should check your connection. Yeah, stream is fine. The connection is fine. All good here. Okay, hey, maybe what you need to do, Mr. Whoever you are, 
fix your own internet. Call the company up. I'm just kidding, all right? Uh, may, may, maybe you're having some glitches on your part. All right, everybody's saying that the stream is great, so it might be on your end. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint you. Sorry it's not me. I'm just kidding. And, yeah, people were kind of kind of bitter there. It's all good. But anyways, let's go say hi to the chickens because I uh, I don't have roosters anymore. It is a little... Rodriguez, all right, he's my only. Is he? Oh, so I guess, I guess Rodriguez, which happens to be my goose, he's starting to get a little protective now, and he started kind of attacking people, and that's really, it's really unlike him. Hi guys, want to say hi? <laughs> that's Rodriguez over there. <laughs> he gets all excited. You gotta be nice. Say what? Hi, baby. Can I have a kiss? I'll see if there's another. Oh, look, he's getting kind of aggressive. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Can I have a kiss? <laughs> oh, I think he wants to attack me. Oh, all right. Be nice. Be nice. He's never done that to me before. What's wrong with you? All right, don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, hey, careful. Oh, 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 oh I'm out of here. I can't come in here. Rodriguez has been very aggressive. You being a good boy. Are you being a good boy? Oh, he's ruffling his feathers. I got wormy for you. Hi. Hi. I don't know why he's being like that. All right. Whoa. Whoa. Be nice. He's hissing at me. He's hissing at me. All right, you chill. He might be the new Sasquatch in town. Where's your lady at? Okay, there's Melissa over there. All right, supposedly, where? She made a nest. Whoa, hey, hey, be nice. No, hey. You watch it. All right, it's right behind me. All right, I think the reason why he's getting a little aggressive is because his lady made a nest back here. And we, we took the we took the babies, or not the baby, we took the eggs. They're big eggs. If you want to see what a goose egg looks like, it's like that big. It's huge. All right. He's gonna get you. Sorry about the wind noise, fam. It's gonna bite your ass. Hi, buddy. Can I have a pet? Can I have a kiss? Give me a kiss. You've never been like that with me. I, he's like that with you and my mom now. But I, like, I, I pick him up sometimes. Yeah, well, maybe that's why. Hi, Angie. And look, if anybody has chickens, uh -huh. this is really good for them. What is it? It's crushed red pepper and oregano. Uh -huh. Oregano is really good for their immune system. All right. And crushed red pepper kills parasites because they don't have heat sensors. So uh -huh. they can't taste the heat. They just taste the yumminess of the... Dope. Hey, Martin, thank you so much. I'm your biggest fan let me see i watched it every day and love your whole family kids the dogs love hey thank you martin ah, give me a kiss give me give me a kiss give me a kiss damn he's got teeth can i have a kiss i'm being nice to him i want to pet him what this morning all right what we got here oh my god and there's some more over here look at these eggs got a lot of eggs all right, wait, I know we have some fake that's ones. That's the fake one. That's that a fake egg. A fake one, and there's a Damn. One over there that's fake. It's all full of poopy. But all Hi. of these are... Hi. I wonder what what's attacking her? I don't know why. She's got like... Are the ducks doing that? I don't have no idea. I hope not. Dang, I took my egg carrier inside. So Flory said, I have a pair of geese. The male always attack me, and I have to keep an eye on him. Hey, we're going to have to keep an eye on you. Where's he at? Hi, baby. Can give me a kiss? Hi. Come here. Don't be I shy. this lady coming to get the... Oh, she says she's five minutes away. I wonder if she wants some eggs. Oh, just give her some eggs. Yeah, we have so many. I already took eggs in this morning. Hi, guys. So, we used to have roosters, and I found them new homes. And they're... Oh, my gosh. Here, guys. I think we're going to have to find... What are you doing? Are you throwing some eggs? Yeah, I guess it's really healthy for them but um look what the ducks the male ducks this is what they do to the female ducks because they're always trying to mate with them like look all her feathers are gone it's kind of kind of mean so 
may may have to find um some homes for my male ducks just because eventually they can even hurt the chickens too and the chickens don't have um you know so they can like if they penetrate them it can actually kill them so i don't know i i think that's probably what's happening to my chickens i think the ducks are like yeah, because ducks will, and you know ducks will kill chickens by doing that because chickens do their do but apparently ducks will penetrate the hen and kill it because ducks are I mean, chickens are meant to be penetrated yeah um she's here oh she's here all right uh gonna have to you know what can you go over there um dang hold on hold on one second okay i think i'm here come on back you gonna come out? huh i told her to i told her to come back hold on you're not getting any yet. should we give like patrick a bath come on come out so i can close this no. um I mean, once he gets in the car, he'll be. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, I might change my mind. Maybe I'll change my mind. I'll be like, no, you can't, you can't take my puppy. Hi. What you guys doing? Hi, Lily. Wow, you guys poop a lot. What's wrong? Hey, Rena. So there's, there's my cows. There goes Mona. Mona's over here. Llama's doing good, by the way, too. Mary Poppins is doing good. Tommy, we got him with the cows. Red Wolf, thank you so much. Appreciate that. So there's Tommy. Um, supposedly, you're not supposed to have billy goats with your babies. And that's why another reason why we separated them, because they can kill your babies, even though that's daddy. And they look just like their daddy. Watch out, watch out, Andy, Anthony. <laughs> but yeah, so we have him with the cows and he's doing just fine. There goes Mona. Mona. And if you're wondering, that's natural. That's, that's Jersey cow right there. Jersey cows are naturally skinny cows, even though they eat like a regular cow and eat all day long, always hungry. They just always are kind of bony like that. She's not like being starved to death. These are my other cows. You can see how how fat Lily is. She's a fat cow. She's a how now brown cow. But anyways, um, okay, it was, must have been a long walk. So I don't know, I don't know her name. Um, but Tiffany's gonna be dealing with her. Here is my llama. My llama's doing, llama's doing a lot better. We had her haircut recently too. And there goes Mary Poppins. And they're eating some hay right now, some peanut hay. What, where is your llama? Okay, there's my llama. That's my llama right there. Okay, um, so yeah, there she goes over there. She's got some really cool green hair. I mean, what do I, whoa, hey. Oh, I. I can't forget about Miss Piggy. I'm sorry, Miss Piggy. I didn't say hi to you. Hi, Miss Piggy. How you doing, sweetheart? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What you doing? Let me zoom out here. Oh my gosh, sorry. What's going on? You are so cute. You are so cute. You want a strawberry? Yes, you want a strawberry? You want a scratch, that's what you want. She just wants a scratch. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, see, we had to separate the pigs, too, because Dak and Gracie were attacking them, thinking that they were going to attack the the doggies, the little puppies. So now they can be a little bit more free, too. So, oh, look, she's already bonding with the with the puppies. This is this is good. Um, what do I do, though? Like, you know, hey, I'm, uh, I'm going to say I'm talking to my friends. I'm talking to my friends. Doing a FaceTime with my friends. Hello. Hi. Should have brought your kids. I got out of work and I just drove straight here. It's, I live like 20 minutes away from my job in the opposite direction. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I wasn't gonna go and grab them and then come out here because I know Super Bowl's about to go on and yeah. I'm like, I wanna be home to watch it. So I told them I was just gonna sneak away, be late. Right. They don't know oh, they don't know you're bringing home a puppy? Aww. No, we've been 
been wanting one. I have a blue nose. She was a rescue. The neighbors. Oh, that's right. You do have another puppy. Yeah, I have yeah. two. Okay. So I have a blue nose who just did nothing but ran, ran the neighborhood. Uh -huh. And one day I went to the neighbors. I said, if I see her out in the neighborhood one more time, I'm taking her. I've had her for three years now. It's better than saying, if I see your dog out again, I'm going to call animal control. Yeah, no. Like, I'm going to take her. And then I, like I have that. a dachshund who was riddled with heartworm who came to me literally maybe two pounds. Uh -huh. And Aww. I got some meat back on him, but he's my little pain in the butt. So you oh, love dogs. Oh, I love animals, period. I have like seven or eight cats. Aww. One of them's about to give birth. I have a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know you want loves too, huh? So cute. So that's Patrick. I'm sure she already told you. Yes. Um, I'm. I mean, you can really pick. The only one that I can't um give away is um, she's spoken for is the girl. But I mean, like Travis or Patrick, they're both available. Patrick is. He was your favorite, right? Oh, you crying? Oh, I'm sorry. I swear to goodness, you have my address, and anytime you want to come over, like I said, it's a drive. Why are you sitting on him? Because he's like, you're not taking my brother. He's <laughs> <laughs> my little shadow. I promise you, he won't go anywhere. So when we were originally thinking, okay, well, we'll just keep one puppy, he was the one we were going to keep. Aww. Yeah, so, I mean, he's literally our favorite. So, He's such a sweetie. Yeah, they're all really sweet. They're very loving. I mean, they, they've gotten so much attention from the moment they were born. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm on FaceTime with some friends here. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's your name again? Jen. Jen. Nice to meet you, Omar. Nice to meet you. Okay. And that's Patrick. This is Ariana in Boston. Hi. That's Dak in DC. That's Patrick's daddy. So this is what Patrick's going to look like. Yeah. Because he looks just like his daddy. And he's a daddy's boy. He is. He follows Dak around everywhere. Yeah, like that's his little buddy. It's funny because my sister actually got somebody. She works at a gas station in Crystal River. Uh -huh. Somebody literally dropped off a Pyrenees to her. No and way. And just said, here, it's yours. It was only five weeks old. <gasps> oh, my gosh. But that dog made me fall in love with the breed yeah and i'm like oh my goodness they're such good dogs yes they're very loyal and they'll protect your animals and your house yeah yeah well, that's what i'm wanting too because now we're starting to get hawks in the area because i have chickens oh okay i lost five chickens in two months i was gonna uh -huh. ask you if you wanted some eggs because we have so many <laughs> yeah we got so many eggs oh i have a bunch at home too you know when they were puppies they would a, a hawk was just in the air and they wouldn't even let it land no yeah <laughs> Like they, it's built, it's built within them. Travis is Ariana's favorite. Travis is. I thought that was Taylor. That's Taylor right there, the one you were just petting. She's got like a shorter snout. Just look how lovable they are. They're just so lovable. Hi, Travis. How you doing? How you doing? Watch up, boy. Watch up, boy. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Are you guys gonna get engaged? I mean, you know, the real tra Travis and Taylor. I think they're supposed to at the Super Bowl. My crazy. He's focusing on getting that Super Bowl ring. Too bad it's going to be the Niners. Oh, my gosh. You guys are crazy. They got some sharp nails, too. Do you want me to give him, like, a little bath before? No. You know, okay. Honestly, when I get home, I'm giving everybody baths. Okay. It's bath day at my house. Okay. He had his puppy shots. Okay. Uh, he still might be too little for rabies shots. Because uh, his birthday is November 17th. November 17th, okay. Yeah, that's when he was born. He's going to be a big boy. He's going to be a big, big boy like his daddy. About 125 pounds. That's right. Um. What's the name of the food? That it's called For Health. Yeah, they eat For Health. Okay. I mean, yeah, they have it from Royal King or yeah. whatever. I don't yeah. want to switch him up if anything. They're, he's not a fan of the salmon kind. Okay. So just either chicken or beef. Right. Or whatever. Right now he's got the. They're on the chicken and rice For Health. They're just okay. a big happy pair of family. I mean, we buy the. Oh, it's like they're all saying goodbye to him. Look at this. And my dogs, they'll eat anything. And your dogs get along with. See how he's a daddy's boy. He's a daddy's boy. 
He is. No. <laughs> Up to the this time here. Would we be able to see him and stuff? Yeah, like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, and he, like, I already gave you guys my address. Anytime you want to come okay. out or I'll bring him out, it doesn't matter. But and for any scenario where, like, and you have to promise me this, I mean, th this I should have had a, maybe a contract for. It. It's probably the most oh, important yeah. thing. If you have to, for whatever reason, he's not getting along with the other dogs. Yeah, Maybe we'll, he's. Yeah, we'll take him back. I'll take him back. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, one hundred percent. Even if you want. I don't want to see him go to a shelter or anything no, no. like that. My babies don't go there. No. Okay, mm -hmm. or like give him to a friend. I'd rather take him back no, if you're not gonna. I'll do it to you guys. Thank and you. Even if you want, when I get home this evening, I'll just write something. Say, hey, listen, I. You know, Hi, Patrick. Promise that you won't go anywhere else uh, except for me and. Hi, your buddy. All the good stuff. Uh, I love you so much. I'm gonna see you again. Yes, I am. I'm gonna go visit you. You're gonna protect some chickens? Yes? You're gonna protect some chickens? You know what's cool is he's used to being around chickens. You know, he's yeah. kind of raised around them. I love your guys' setup. Mine's just, mine are completely free range in my yard. Oh, okay. And then they have the one big homing area. You know, you should get two a goose. No, you don't. What? What's wrong Why? with the he Because they protect the chickens too. <laughs> yeah, he's about to eat my leg right now. The ducks? Really? Yeah, the ducks. Mine were like, like babies. Yeah. They were the ones I would sit there and coddle and love on. And... Aww. Yeah. Oh. Like, Look at these guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh yeah, I love you. I love you. I want to see you happy. I want to see you happy. Yes. I want to see you happy. Yes. Let's jump a bottle. You guys are so like, cute. I, I'm You're so cute, Taylor. If I slack I, for one day of taking a picture and sending it to you, just text me and say, hey. Oh, you don't have to send us pictures every day. I mean, no. just. I mean, like I said, I'll do it weekly or whatnot. Yeah. Just so you guys see his progress and stuff. But You know what? Um, Dak's mom, because he came from Miami. And I still talk to the mom. Or, oh, wow. like, I, I still send her pictures. And when we had puppies, I sent her, like, hey, like, you're a. Uh, she was going to come visit. I forgot the mom's name. But I was like, hey, your dog is a grandma. <laughs> so that was really cool. So, I mean, yeah, we just... Oh, gosh. Woo. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Oh, boy. Goodbye, Patrick. Goodbye, we'll buddy. Him, um, we'll let him run to the car so that way he can kind of like tire himself out. Okay. Now, these dogs are escape artists. I don't know if you yes. you know that. And he's already escaping. Like, what happened earlier today? Yeah, he kept getting out. And we were up there dealing with the baby goats. And I look over and he's just sitting there looking at me. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> so then my mom puts him in her car, drives him back. We start looking for the goat again. He comes back and he's sitting there looking at us again. And I'm like, how are you getting out? <laughs> Was it that? I don't know. No, I don't. I don't know how he got out. I think it was probably through here. It's probably under there. That's how he got out. No, I think this wasn't clipped. And oh, okay. Come on, Patrick. Come on, baby. Come on, bud. Get back, Gracie girl. I know. Get back, Gracie. Gosh. <laughs> Breaks my heart. I feel bad now. Oh, don't feel bad. I, you know, this is best for him. This is good for him, and it's good for our other dogs. Escape uh, artist. Yep, it's all right. We have the other fence. Yeah, but that one's not. Huh? Yeah, and the front gate is open, babe. Gracie. No, it's closed. Hey, grab Gracie. Gracie. She will jump over the fence. I don't got electrical wires over this paddock here. Oh boy. Oh boy. You're gonna be a good boy. Yes, you're gonna be a good boy. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. I'm gonna miss you so so much. But hey, we'll uh we'll definitely keep in contact. Alright, I'll see you guys in a few. 
Okay, I got her. I got her. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. Ah. Inside, girl. All right, there you go. Inside. Get in there. Jump, jump. All right, here you go. Hi, buddy. Oh, my goodness. My kids heard me go, hey, baby. Oh. Uh -huh. they're like... All right, sorry about that. Um, For some reason, every time I do a live stream or busy, like five or six people want to call me. So uh, every time they call me, it kind of interrupts the live stream here on my iPhone. I wish they would fix that. Maybe I'll put it on do not disturb on the iPhone next time. But oh my gosh, like this is, this is so sad. Yeah, we live out in the country. We could shoot guns and stuff out here. So uh, a little bit of a surprise at times. Said I have sexy shoes. <laughs> Thanks. These shoes are pretty sexy. Yeah. These are my. Hey, let's get up out the house real quick. Your uncle's calling now. Yeah, tell him I'm on a live stream. Yeah. yeah, so. Hello? Are you going to keep his name? You, I mean, you could change I it. No. Okay. Your kids may want to call him something else. They probably will. Bye. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie. You guys are going to laugh at me. I don't name my animals after people. That's okay. Like, they have to have like different names. As long as his middle name could be Patrick. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Like, my pit bull's name is Hippo. I love it. Hippo? <laughs> yeah, you got to name him something cool then. She's a big hippo, and then my little dachshund's name is Tank. Oh, I had a dog named Tank. So, like, I don't even name my animals anymore. I have Patrick. a cat named Raja. And oh, I wow. I had a cat named Raja, too, when I was in oh, my wow. teenage. Name him Snow Capper. <laughs> Come on, Patrick. Come on, ba Come on, buddy. Look, he doesn't want to go. He wants to go back with his siblings and his mama. No, 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 no. Ah, no. He doesn't want to go. Look. Oh. Look, he wants to go back to mommy. No, he just gotta go poop. Oh, <laughs> all right. I see how it is, Patrick. It's not gonna happen in your car now. Hey, that's true. Be my front seat oh man, there's some big poopies too. Come on, Patrick. Patrick. One thing about these dogs Patrick. is they're very independent, and I'm gonna chase you off. it's hard for them to listen sometimes because they're so independent. But they're very smart. Yeah, look, so he wants to go back. Run this way, Boston. Oh, God. I'm, like, so sad. Come on, Patrick. Come on, baby. Come on. Look, Gracie knows. Like, she's, like... I know. She's really hurt. Yeah, she does not want to let her puppy go. I know. She's like, where is he going? Oh, God. <laughs> this is heartbreaking. No, it's okay. It's good. It's good for him. He's going to have a very happy home. Very happy home. It's a happy but sad day. I know. Like I said, he's going to be spoiled. That's awful. Oh, I know. No, he is. Who's, um, who's your friend? I go to the VCA in the Canto. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> he was crying. Oh. Come on, Boston, He looks like a big old teddy bear. Big old. Big old. You should name him Teddy Bear. <laughs>